In this quick video, we're just going to show you a couple of changes that have happened in GeoWAP, namely a couple of changes to the job list here so you can become familiar with them, and also this new simple way to add a job. So first off in the job list here, the two changes you can notice is over the left hand side here, you can now filter through and have a look at scheduled visits for jobs and also those that are unscheduled as well. If we scroll down a little bit here and we look at the right, we can see that nice big red exclamation mark. This means that some changes have been made to that job, namely someone has uh, unassigned themselves from a visit or assigned themselves to a visit as well. So now you've got that corresponding information coming back to the web console and coming back to the administration component so you can keep an eye on the changes as well. So we're just going to go up the top go to that same green button to add a new job and we'll show you through the simple process of how you can add a job and also how you can assign single visits or also multiple visits now to these jobs as well. The add new job form has uh, simplified a little bit as well to make it nice and easy for you to add that job quickly. So we'll just add in a client here for this demonstration. We'll choose one from a list as you can see, it's one that we've done some work for before, so the job location and the map are automatically updates. If we did have someone else that we wanted to build this job for, we could put them in the build to other column. I'm just going to give this a little bit of a, a title here, so we'll just say fix leaking tap. Now if we wanted to add in a description, a job reference, or an order number, we could do so from the next couple of uh, boxes there. And also if we wanted to change the priority or the status to that job. You can also still see on the map on the right hand side who you've got available and close by for that job as well. So we're just going to go up the top there and click to save that job and add that job into the system. Now if you did want to add on any particular time and parts for that job or notes and files, exactly the same way as you did before. You will now notice though that you can easily edit this job and by clicking on that it will bring you back to that job form and you can add, amend or delete any details as need be. So today we're just going to put a, you need to call John uh, when you arrive. And you'll see by inputting in some new information, that now automatically changes to save and add that to that job. Now to schedule a staff member or a contractor to that job, you now need to click on the add visits button here. Now if it was a simple straightforward job and you weren't needing multiple visits, and you knew who you needed straight away, all you could do is have a look at the visit start date, change that if need be and change the date, also change the duration, you can also label the visit, so if you um, had multiple visits for example you could label these accordingly, we'll just uh, label this as fixed leaking tap as well, you can put in any additional details for that visit and we could just assign a staff member straight away. However, if you were wanting to add in multiple visits, or if you wanted to leave some visits unassigned, you can also do this from the Add Visit button. So by clicking again on the Add Visit button, again you can change those top details with the visit start date, the duration, the label. So for this, we may say Assess Job. Now if we knew a particular user we may want to search for, there's now a dynamic search functionality so you can simply start typing in and it will bring up the corresponding employees and contractors. If you wanted to search by work group, you'd simply uh, select the drop down menu here and you'll tick the work groups. If you do tick more than one work group, the work groups will um, cross reference and leave you with the employees that are available for that particular work group. 
If you do want to uh, add on multiple uh, staff members for this particular visit, so for assessing the job here, you just simply tick who you would like to uh, choose. As you can also see, their availability comes up as well. You can see that we've got two staff selected and you still have the functionality of being able to send them an SMS as well to notify them. This of course is additional to the notification they'll receive on the smartphone or tablet device. You can easily just put save and add and you can move on to the next visit as need be as well. So after assess the job we may uh, go for another visit as well. You may say and partake work and we may make that for the next day and make that uh, nice and earlier I should say in the morning if need be as well and if it was the same staff members or if we only wanted one and wanted to choose another one would simply tick or untick you can also if you'd like to create these visits as unassigned if you're unsure and you can assign them later. So, so far we've shown you uh, the, the changes in the job list there, how you can add in a job, and also how you can add on multiple visits and also singular visits for that job as well. Also a nice little uh, easy way to see who has been assigned to that job. As you can see there are initials there, or if you have uploaded photographs, photographs of those staff members. If you've got a large number of visits for a job as well, you can easily filter through and group them as well. So you can look at them by time if you would like, also by label, so whatever you've labeled the visit as, and also by staff member. If you are wanting to bulk edit a visit, nice and easy as well, you'd simply select the uh, visit. As you can see, it says what we're editing as well, and you can do whatever you would like to that visit and save and close it. You can also uh, delete particular visits if need be or you can change the start and duration date and add in any additional details as well making it nice and easy to manage those multiple visits and manage that job overall.